Can a $50 action camera actually be any good? Mm -hmm. Turns out, yeah, it can. Hey guys, what's up? I'm that modern dude and welcome back to another tech video. Today I have this 4K action camera that I picked up on gearbest.com for a little under $50 and I was curious to see how it would compare to the much more expensive GoPro and if if it was worth a consideration if you're out there shopping for an action camera. Right off the bat, if you're into adventure sports and you travel a lot, extreme sports and all that sort of stuff, and you do it very frequently, I would definitely actually recommend investing in a GoPro because you get what you pay for. It's more durable and it will just work better for you. But if you're just gonna go traveling a little bit, you want something easy you can put in your pocket and you don't wanna spend a lot of money, then this is definitely worth a look into because it gives you a lot of what the GoPro offers in a similar package for a lot less money. So what do you get for $50? Well, you get the action camera, of course. In the box, you get a variety of mounting options, the waterproof housing for it. You also get the charger, which is pretty standard. And the box, you know, it looks pretty nice as well. At least it's not just a plain cardboard box. Now the camera itself is made out of plastic. The front face is actually quite nice. It's made out of this sort of soft rubberized plastic and the rest of the housing is sort of like a hard scratchy material, but the soft corners make it very, very comfortable to hold in the hand. The buttons themselves are nice and tactile and give you a nice clicky feedback when pressing them. The rear LCD isn't touch screen, which is kind of a bummer, but that's all right for less than $50, you know, I guess we can't have everything. And then on the side, you have your port. So you have a micro HDMI and a micro USB for charging. You also have your SD card slot there as well. One thing I didn't like is that the SD card slot is exposed. So if this isn't in a housing or waterproof housing, a tiny drop of water gets in there and you're pretty much done, definitely, as an action camera, it works very well, fits nice in the pocket, holds very nicely, isn't, isn't too light, isn't too heavy, it feels very good in the hand. And on top as well, sorry, you have an LED notification. This is just to let you know if it is on. Now, before I show you what's important, which is the sample footage from this guy here, I will tell you my biggest gripe I have about it. And that is the rear screen. It serves its function. It gives you a preview of what you're recording. It gives you access to the menu and whatnot. The LCD itself is very low resolution and there is a lot of light bleed off viewing angles aren't great. Again, you know, we've got to have some compromises when you're paying less than $50 for this guy here. So obviously that's where they are. But the screen quality isn't what bothers me. It's the menus changing functions like recording speed, like 4K or slow-mo, time-lapse options and whatnot is actually quite hard to get to because you've got to click through the modes and they're easily about 10, 15 button presses away can't do it very quickly, which is why at the beginning I recommend a GoPro for those of you who are into serious adventure sports because you can change modes very quick on that, so you're not going to miss the action. This is definitely better if you're going to sort of leave it in one recording option and then a photo option to take snaps, which does work very well. But if you plan on changing between slow mo and 4K very often, it's going to be a bit of a pain with this guy here, but that is really my only gripe, and like I said, if you're just looking for a little camera to record things on your trips, definitely, definitely a great little option. Anyway, we're gonna show you what's important. We're gonna show you some test footage I took of this guy, a little bit of slow-mo. All of this footage was filmed in 4K and it'll be downsampled to 1080p for the purpose of YouTube, just so you are aware. So yeah, let's get into the test footage. Uh -huh. test footage for this little 4K action camera. As you can see, it's actually pretty darn good, especially when you keep the price in mind. I mean, you're paying less than a quarter of the cost of a current GoPro model, getting 4K recording, yet 1080p at 60 frames a second, so you can get some nice slow-mo shots. Not super slow-mo, but you know, nice. Plenty of mounting options in the box, and like I said many times in this video, 
This is really great if you just want something nice and easy to carry around for you on your travels to just, you know, get an extra point of view. Just, you know, film stuff on the go. It is fantastic and it's not gonna break the bank. I have left a link down in the description below for you to check it out. Gearbest.com have specials all the time, so you might even be able to pick this up, guy up for a lot less than advertised and it's already cheap already, so click that link if you want the most up-to-date price. So that's all for this video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did and you feel like being awesome, hit that thumbs up button down below. I certainly appreciate it. Please subscribe if you want to see more videos. I've got some big things coming this year that I'm pretty, pretty pumped about. So definitely subscribe to see what that's about. And yeah, until the next video, guys, I'll catch you all later.